Hi everybody, this is Kathy Volkman. I'm curator of artifacts at the Marathon County Historical Society in Wausau, Wisconsin. Since you are not able to visit our museum to see our wonderful exhibits um, during this COVID-19 pandemic, I thought what we would try to do is bring you some interesting artifacts that we have in our collection. Um, see if it's something that you're familiar with. If you've you know seen it before, done it before, have any comments. Um, if you do, we'd love to have you comment below the video and let us know. So the first thing um, video that I'm doing is something that we have had in our artifact collection that I've been looking at for decades. I never really thought too much about it until I looked at it a little bit more closely a couple months ago to see what it really was. And what it is, it's something called tin can furniture and it is doll sized furniture that is made out of tin cans. It was a very popular um, craft or hobby in the especially 1960s and 70s. Um, there were books that were made about it. Um, you can go online and find instruction sheets now on Pinterest. Um, but it was very popular to do. Um, I think you had to have some talent um, to do it, but um, we have three pieces in our collection, surprisingly. So we've got a couch, and we also have two side chairs. So the way that it worked, um, you would take a tin can. Tin cans are a little bit different now than they were before. Um, you'd cut off the top, and you would, with your tin snips, cut very thin strips about two-thirds or three-quarters of the way down all around the can that you were using. And then you would take pliers or something that you could use to coil down and roll up the strips. Um, and you can see it right here to make these intricate designs, um, which are all individual coils that are then wired together to form the shape of the furniture. So this one was done, I think, with a canned meat can, spam or something on that line, ham. Um, it's Rectangular was originally half of a square, and they turned this into a couch. So the seat of the couch is the bottom of the can, and then all of the, the arms, the back, everything was all coiled down and wired together. And then the legs were also coiled and bent down, and those are, they are quite bendable. So those came down and became the feet. Same thing with the chairs, and you can kind of see how it works with a tin can in the chair, so you would, uh, perhaps a shorter can, or you would cut off the top of the can to um, make the coils. They are very interesting. Um, I did try to look at the design and the printing that's on the coils to see if I could figure out what kind of can it actually was. Could not figure it out. Um, but they are very interesting. Have little cardboard seats that were covered with um, kind of a reddish velour fabric, but have a nice little set. There are probably many kids who had these. Their parents made them, their grandparents made them. Um, if you had these as a child, or if you made these as a child or an adult, we would love to hear your story about them. So put that in the comments below. Um, let us know what you think. If you are interested in doing it yourself, as I mentioned before, you can still find instructions for doing this on Pinterest, or if you just Google tin can furniture, um, it's amazing how many different designs that you'll come up with. Let us know if you give it a try.